My cries were not the muffled sobs of loneliness or the whimpering of discomfort, though certainly I was lonely and uncomfortable, but the anguished wail that a guy will let loose only when he's sure there's no one around to hear him. And I was sure. Wrong, obviously, but sure. At least as sure as one spending another night under a pier can be. Barry was wonderful when we dated. He came to my apartment to cook for me, many times. He fixed things that were broken, just like my dad did for my mom. Once, Barry even went to my parents' house while they were out of town and mowed their lawn. And it wasn't just those things. I could tell you a hundred things he used to do, but that was when he loved me. I told him about growing up, about being the youngest of three kids and the pain of my father's alcoholism. I told him about my own marriages, the many jobs I'd held, most successful for a time, but ultimately ending because of my own inability to be happy. A lot of guys and girls are getting married pretty young, but it seems like they all get divorced after a few years, so long story short, the reason I'm asking how to keep a marriage from ending is because there has to be something you can learn while you're dating. I mean, I hope there is. It hit me hard when my son passed, but a mama ought not to outlive her children. Seems like a cruel thing. I have outlived my usefulness. How in the world did I ever get so old? I'm just an old woman wishing merely to live out my days without being in the way of those who still have much to do. Success is a house, a big house. Nice cars, vacations, an expensive watch, jewelry for my wife. A successful life? I guess my wife, my unborn child, spending time with my family, good friends, making a difference in people's lives. My life is a mess. I am a noticer. It is my gift. While others may be able to sing well or run fast, I notice things that other people overlook. And you know, most of them are in plain sight. I notice things about situations and people that produce perspective. That's what most folks lack, perspective, a broader view. So I give them that broader view, and it allows them to regroup, take a breath, and begin their lives again. <laughs> 